Hello Floss Tube. This is Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, it is, God, I don't even know the date. That's where I am. That's the kind of day it's been. I don't know what's going on. It is Tuesday, September 12th. Um, sorry for the beeping and the kind of the situated. Usually I film in my office. I'm in my kitchen slash living room right now. So if the music's a little loud, I'm sorry. I uh, usually turn it down. Usually from my office, you only kind of hear it in the background. So I turned it down, but it's hard to judge. Um, my office is a mess. And one of the curtains is kind of funky. And I was like trying to pull it so I could get better light. And it just wasn't working out. And I said, you know what? I'll just go in the kitchen. So that's where I am. Um, I have, I'm having one of those days, I've got fabric on the line, I've got fabric to be ironed, you can probably see it on the back of the couch back there, I have fabric in the dye, I have fabric in the wash, I just have stuff everywhere. Bye Sadie, she was just sitting on the chair next to me. Um, so it's just one of those days, just trying to get stuff done. Um, I have a huge retreat that I'm going, I say huge, it's not huge, I've got a retreat in Ohio that I am working at next not this coming upcoming weekend, weekend after, and then I have the boss to retreat in Austin two weeks after that. So I'm trying to get fabric of the month done. I'm trying to get orders done, and I'm trying to get prep for two retreats, like within a couple weeks of each other. So that's kind of where I am right now. As of right now, all needle orders have gone out, so that's good. Um, also, all um, sale orders from the 4th of July sale are gone. So I've managed to get quite a bit done. I opened up Fabric of the Month. I will open it back up to membership again in a couple of weeks. Um, right now, I am working on, I am in the middle of the anniversary sale. I only do three sales a year. I do the anniversary sale in September. I have a um, 4th of July sale and then I do a Black Friday sale. So the anniversary sale right now is until the end of September. Your entire purchase on my website is 15% off. There's a code at the top you can use. I suggest you do that. Um, so yeah. Let me see. Let's start. I'm going to start with some under the sea fabric stuff. Um, excuse me, I'm playing with my hair. It's kind of bugging me today. It's not, it's not laying the way I want. And definitely needs I need to touch up the dye in a couple of spots it's just bothering me what can I say anyway okay so first fabric of the month for September for under the sea fabrics it's called sagebrush it's a really pretty sagey green it is not meant to be fully like it's supposed to be green all over but it is supposed to have splotches that are darker like I was kind of going for something like that so I'm very pleased with it um, yeah that's all the under the sea fabric stuff I have. Needles are gone. Sale orders are gone. Current sale, fabric of the month. There we go. All of that's done. Um, I guess I should talk about these. I have these Arctic cups. I have a limited number of them still available on the website. They are available on the anniversary sale. So if you order, you can get one of these. This one. There are three sayings. One says I run on caffeine, cross stitch, and sarcasm. One says I run on hot tea, cross stitch, and sarcasm. And I think one is I run on caffeine, cross stitch, and cuss words. So there's three or four sayings, and there's three or four colors. And then there are two sizes. This one is the red, the bright red, and it is, this is a 20 ounce cup. There's also a 30 ounce. So. They were all um, powder coated and hand engraved. So I'm very, I have a couple of these um, and I really like them. So they're a very good quality cup. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, once all these are gone, I have some ideas for some other cups that I'm gonna start. So once these are gone, I've got some other cool ones. Some are wine glasses and stemless wine glasses. So, you know. All right, business done, fun stuff now. First, um, I got a new journal. 
This is one of those rub-ons, but this is a Leech, I think it's pronounced Leech Term 1917, so it is a leather journal. I am using this as a stitching journal. Um, I just started it, so it only has one entry, and that is the project I'm currently working on, and that's my peacock, my beaded peacock tile. Um, so this is very red with the dot grid. I plan, I have ideas for spreads, like almost to do like a bullet journal spread and to keep track of good stitching. But my big thing I want to keep track of is when I do color conversion and when I start something and keep track. I was I was doing a lot of that on my blog and I need to, which reminds me, I really need to update my blog. But, um, like with, what really prompted me was I pulled I pulled out my beaded peacock tile. Some friends and I are doing like a stitch along on our Chatelaine designs and I pulled mine out and I knew I had switched out all the DMC for silks but the paper with the conversion on it was missing and I couldn't find it. I didn't have it. So I had to kind of sit there and compare it to what I'd already stitched and hope I did it right. So I said to you know, I'm going to I've got, I use a regular bullet journal, like I have another one of these in purple that is my bullet journal for everyday living, like with my plans and vacations, and it's like my second or third brain. I guess third brain, because technically my phone's my first, my second brain. So I wanted another one for stitching, and I ordered pink, because I like the pink. Um... But, um, so if you bullet journal, especially with your cross stitch or your knitting or any other crafts, please, please, please tag me in Instagram or on, or share them with me by email. Um, you can send me an email to the address that's associated with the YouTube channel because I really want to see them. I want to see if your ideas are probably much better than mine. I'm not very creative. Mine's just kind of written out. So please, if you bullet journal especially your crafts, please send me pictures um, and or tag me in pictures of them on Instagram. My Instagram is at under the sea fabrics, all one word. So next I was talking about um, my friends and I were doing a Chatelaine stitch long. Um, we decided that for the month of September we'd all work on a Chatelaine. So I pulled out my beaded peacock tile. So I had, when I started earlier this month, I had him all done. He was halfway beaded and then I've started these two guys. Um, I had to couch down some of the back stitching on the back of him because it was coming loose and I wasn't, re I'm not real pleased with how it's working. You can't tell, I mean, which, so from a distance you won't be able to tell that it's kind of puckered. It puckered the fabric the way I did it, and I'm not real pleased with it. So I'm going to stitch, my goal for the month is to finish stitching these guys and start the border. Um, but I'm not going to bead these two until last because I don't want to deal with the back stitching issue again. So I'm going to stitch both, all the actual stitching in both of them, and then work on the border and then move on to the next border. And just save those two for last. Um, the last thing I know in my last video I talked about thinking about starting um, the Voyage Home from the Cricut Collection and instead that's not what called me the day I said I'm gonna start something new. So I started um, this is Mariner's Drum from Plum Street. I'm just using whatever colors I have close to me I do not like the colors I've used in the fish. I used, I think it's called Indian Summer from Silken Colors. And I'm sure it's pretty for a lot of other things, but I don't love it for the fish. I'm gonna probably pull those out and put in like a bluish green color. I just, it doesn't, I don't know, I don't love it. The waves are done in, I think the top, the top color is Myrrh Blue from Belle Soie. The middle I think it's Sea Breeze. Maybe Aqua, something like that from um, 
Belsois, and the bottom color is Tapestry Teal. Tapestry Teal? Twilight? Teal Twilight. Teal Twilight from Gloriana. Um, the seaweed are done with the Gloriana second. Um, they sent us a whole package of like seconds and misdyed threads from um, during the mirror retreat, and I got this green one, and it's just perfect for seaweed. The sand is Sandcastle from Gloriana. Her tail is um, Petite Treasure Braid 26, so a pale purple. And the rest of her tail will be um, Olea Berry from Gloriana. So that's where I'm at then. The, the fabric color is um, Whimsical Winter. It's on Opalescent Newcastle, so it's Opalescent 40 count. Let me get a little closer because it's super tiny and adorable. I really enjoy working on this, so I actually don't, once I finish those peacocks, I might even be done with that for now because I want to get back to this. Oh, and the peacocks are stitched on Looking Glass Opal Cashel from Under the Sea Fabrics. And you can see I bead as I go, so that's like the, the center is done, that's the beads, that's what it's going to look like. All right, let's see, where am I next? Um, I don't have a ton of stash, but I will show it. Uh, first thing, I got my mystery bits from Stitching Bits and Bobs. Now, I already put the um, Rainbow Gallery threads away, and I don't remember what they were. It was three brown splendors, and then like a pink, two pink, um, two pink, Petite treasure braids and a pink um, petite silk lame. So I just I put them away and then I forgot what they were and I didn't go searching for them again. But the Glorianas and silken colors haven't been put away yet, so I have those. So the first one is Finnegan's Fog from Silken Colors. I wish I don't think the colors are going to be super reliable here. Do I have something white? No. Let me see. Oh, I got a piece of paper. Okay, let's try this. Even those, even there's a little dark, but it's like teals and grays and browns. It's really pretty. Um, and the next one is holiday greenery from silken colors okay that's really accurate it's like a whole bunch of green tones and then cottage woods from gloriana that's pretty accurate too i guess only finnegan's fault was the only one that was like i'm not gonna cooperate today and then the last one is gloriana bellflower which is a pretty purpley blue um Another, another thing, I, I don't remember if I've shown this before, so I really wanted to show this because I'm, I really love this. Um, I got this from Archer Wood, I think it's Archer Creek Woodcrafts, let me look him up, make sure I'm saying the right thing. I will link to him in the, I will link to this in the, um, in the notes at the bottom. Archer Creek Woodworks. Um, I love this thing. It is, number one, you can see it's hand turned. That is hand dyed and hand turned wood. So it is really that pretty. And it's also really smooth. So it's really easy and comfortable. But one side is a seam ripper. And the other side can be used as a pick, but I use it. So if I could get the thing off. I say that and I can't get it off. Because last time I used it, I shoved it on there too tight. Yeah. Either way, it's a it can be used as a neat, as a laying tool. I use it as a laying tool. Sorry, I can't get the it comes with a little tip on it. 
and I've been very good at keeping track of the tip, and then I think the last time I put it on, I just shoved it on too tight. Anyway, it comes like this. They are beautiful, and the reason, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've already shown them once, but the reason I'm showing them again is he just got some new, he just shared on his Facebook page a whole bunch of the new hand-dyed woods to make these, and they are so pretty. So, um, Archer Creek Woodworks on um, Facebook, I will link, tell him I sent you. His name's Mitch, he's amazing, he's such a nice guy. So, all right, stash. Um, I got a few things, not a lot. Uh, one thing I got was the Ship of Life from the Nita Love Company. Someone shared their finish on Stitch Mania. I think it was Cassia, and I just thought it was so pretty. And I was like, well, that looks like something I need. So I ordered it. Um, it is out of print. I bought it off of Amazon. So... And then the last thing I got was an order from 123 Stitch. Well, I'm only at 16 minutes. This is gonna be a short video, guys. Um, so from 123 Stitch of Just Nan stuff. Uh, first thing I got was the Gingerbread Santa Mouse. Let's see. There we go. I absolutely love Just Nan's little 3D animals. I've stitched a couple of them. I have not assembled them. Um, I pretty much intend to send them all to my friend Julie and let her do it. <laughs> and then the other one I got was the Tiny Owl Biscornos. Now the reason I bought this was I wanted to stitch Mr. Nutley. I got him last year when he came out. Um, so... He's, as you can see, he sits on top. Uh, but there's also an owl called... I don't know. It might be... I have no idea. I have him. He's in a bin, but I didn't grab him out. Um, so, for October, a couple, of our a couple of my friends and I have decided to get together and do a Just Nan October. And do a couple of pieces. So, I was going to do these two and the other owl. But I think I'm going to stitch the Biscornu twice since it has two different designs and then have one of each design facing up differently for the other owl. Maybe. I say that. That's super ambitious for me. Who knows if I'll actually do it. Um, I did dye. I had these weird 8 inch by 26 inch scraps of Belfast. So I went ahead and dyed those on them. So, I think when I added it up, I should be, it should be perfect for me to get both owls and two of the Biscornu on both pieces. So, that's my plan for our Just Nan October. That's about all I got. Oh, oh, I wanted to share this. I found this cool candelabra at, um... Michael's. I was considering if I don't do this corner sitting like kind of propping the owls in here and setting it up. Um, I have a couple of other Halloween like things I want to do but I was I know Sue Hiller shared where she had done some stuff and finished on the stuff on the candelabras and I love that idea. So when I saw this one and it was on sale I couldn't help myself, so I'm gonna find three patterns or something to put in that because I really like it. Well, I think that's all I have. So, like I said, I would love to see your um, bullet journal spreads for cross stitch or any other kind of needlework project. Um, anniversary sale on my website. I will open fabric of the month up to other people um, at the end of the month at the end of the sale and also 
go, even if you're not really interested, please go like Mitch's page because he does some other cool stuff. I plan, I've been working on a bunch of little smalls, like Mariner's Drum's one of them, um, that I want to finish and put into a bowl and I plan to have Mitch make the bowl for me. So, um, I think that's all. Thanks everyone for watching.